Welcome back to another episode of Live from Puck City. You got the you got the Geraldo Jerry Springer audience. Yeah. yeah. Did you ever watch those? Like um, Key Lakes and like. Yeah. Not not at home, but I've, I've Williams. I've never watched it at home, but I've watched it like if I'm in a waiting room somewhere. Yeah. Which is a a crazy thing to play in a waiting room, but yeah, I've watched them. That, I always wonder how it works. You know, like how do you get those people? They're getting paid, right? Uh, maybe. Yeah, maybe they are. They have to be getting paid. Maybe a little bit. I mean, their expenses at least have to get paid. Yeah, because it's a lot. It's a lot going on. Like, if you see some of the more more ratchet ones, like <laughs> from the from the nineties, I don't know what the I don't know what the landscape looks like anymore. Do you but... think you could put the like pick the order of the most ratchet? You gotta go Jerry Springer because everything. Like, is it or is Jerry Springer just the biggest? Like the biggest one pause uh I, yeah. I just feel like he had the name jerry jerry so yeah naturally i mean they all probably uh, had chance right maury maury yeah, was another one right was he one i don't know maury i thought he was yeah you're right yeah you're right he was one maury ricky lake uh judge judy's does that count <laughs> <laughs> no what do you mean no why not judge judy's just court <laughs> some court yeah, but it's not real. It's like I like I like the Judge Brown. Judge Brown is cool. I I, I mean wait. I so why does Judge Brown count? Judge Brown, but Judge well, Judge Judy doesn't. No, no, no. I'm not saying. I'm just saying along the lines of the Judge Judge shows. <laughs> he's just like you better sit your dumb ass down. <laughs> like he's just like he just says whatever the hell he wants. I was like, is this real court? <laughs> Shut the hell up and sit your ass <laughs> down. Like, I was like, is this legal? <laughs> have you like, shoot him, guard. <laughs> have you seen the like, uh, the Rick and Morty court scene Rick thing? Have you seen Rick and Morty wow. at all? No, I don't know. I don't even know what. what you don't even know what it is. You never heard of it. You never even seen it. No. It's like the cartoon Back to the Future thing. There's the old guy. He's like an old scientist guy, and then uh, and then he like runs around doing adventures with some kid. Yeah, he. he how do you? All right. Well, damn. Einstein. Listeners, what, listeners what are listeners. No, listeners will be on my side at this point. Like that, you have not heard of Rick and Morty. But I mean, lucky you, because I brought it up because so many people love Rick and Morty that they, you know, it's one of those shows that people try to get you to watch, you know, but I never got into it. I was obviously you never got into it either because you've never. Even... Yeah, I don't even know what that is. I don't even know what number you put on the channel changer to to get there. Adult Swim, I think maybe. OK, yeah. Yeah, I was never an Adult Swim type of person. You never watched any of the... No, what was that? It was cartoons for grown people? Yeah, cartoons or... where they they say okay. bad words. All right. Nah, yeah, nah, I think I never saw uh, Boondocks, was that Adult Swim? Okay, maybe. Um, I never really got into Boondocks. Either. About Johnny Bravo. <laughs> Definitely not. Come on, nope. Johnny Bravo? No. Nope. You don't know Johnny Bravo. That's uh I know who he is. <clears throat> yeah, he's the little kid that like has the hair and all that. I don't I never <laughs> he's not a little him. kid. Oh, he's not a kid? No, he's an, he's an adult. He but he's in, What's the space one? Is he in space? Jetsons? Oh yeah, Jetsons is I want I like Jetsons. What but what but space no, one are you talking name. about? Wasn't there a space one where they're like where they're like saying stuff like or they're, they're basically like extra oh like yeah yeah uh futurama or, like, futurama right there you go yeah yeah yeah. <clears throat> yeah i think that was by the simpson simpsons people 
Mm. Maybe. I don't know. I might have made that up. Okay. So you've seen that one? I've seen I've seen that one. Because it was so weird. Like, it was one of, I don't know, it may have been 10 years ago or whatever, where it's just like you're changing the channel and they're like saying some wild stuff and it's a cartoon. You're like, what? Kids are watching this? Yeah. And then, um, and then you realize like that's what the show is. What what do you what is your view on South Park? Have you watched South Park before? No, we talked about this. I don't. I don't. I, we talked about it on the podcast. Interested. Yeah, yeah. Oh wow, is somebody getting <clears throat> fucked up right now. Okay, yep. Um. No, wait. I never. I never liked South Park at all. Why? I thought it was dumb. <clears throat> what do you think was dumb about it? Their voices, the the, <laughs> the drawing, yeah, like, <laughs> yeah, it was just dumb. I, don't know. <laughs> I wasn't interested at all. I had a family member who was like, "Oh, this is great." <laughs> no, I don't. I, I don't think it's great at all. <laughs> the drawing, such trash. Yeah. Oh the man, animation. <clears throat> I know a lot. Of, a lot of uh, everybody I know. I'm pretty sure I'm the only person. Well, I guess now you're the only other person. But what? South that Park. South. South I Park? hate South Park. I know a lot. Of Fuck South, South Park. Park. God damn. Sorry. Well, okay, so what's your best cartoon then? Like, what would you say? Is um, Archer, maybe. Like the past. What the heck is? Archer? You don't know Archer? I don't know what that is. You're si like, okay, like after you were like a little kid. After like, I was a little kid. Or are you yeah. are you asking when I was a kid? No, I'm saying like after you were a little kid, like and you had like The Simpsons, which is more for like teenagers, uh, or whatever. Yeah, I mean, <clears throat> as like a an adult. I like Family Guy. I like Family Guy too. I like Archer better than Family Guy. Really? I never seen Archer. I never even heard of Archer. It's on um, uh, FX, I think. Okay. Have you seen yeah, Bob's Burgers? Nope. <sighs> Damn. <laughs> <laughs> right. Did you hear that new Drake? Are we going to do it? Are we going to do this? Do what? <clears throat> I'm just saying. Oh yeah, you don't like Drake. I forgot. You forgot. <laughs> You're saying no, I don't was make a lot it of clear enough. That came out. Well, not a lot. Well, look, come on. Let's not let's not move off it too fast. What did you think about it? <laughs> the three. What is what is that? An EP? That's uh, that poo poo. Three. Uh, no, um, no. <clears throat> what the the uh, the, the is the it thing? an album? Is it an EP? <clears throat> or, uh, um, I guess EP. Somebody said it? EP. Somebody a called project. Me. I think it's just called a project. Is that it, or was that just like the beginning of the release? Pause. Pause. I don't know. I don't. I just feel like that's it. You know. Because you don't put you don't put it out there. I don't know. Maybe it was three. Maybe he's gonna release another three or something. I don't know. Well, what did but you think about these? I this thought, this three. I thought it was actually. Um, I thought it was fire. Oh wow, fire! <laughs> yeah, I thought. Okay, so like each, I thought each three beats were really good. Um, I thought I thought all three beats were really good. I thought. There wasn't a verse on there that was bad. And I thought both features were really good. What did you think about Drake's performance? I just told you. I thought No, but you I, said you said the features the were really good. You said the right. beats were really that was good. A, it was a comma and then the features were really good. All mm -hmm. verses All the verses good. were good. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Um I thought Drake did really well. I thought it was good. I thought it was. I mean, when I, when I pay attention, when I when I think of a classic album, not mm -hmm. saying that this is a classic album, but when I think of a classic album, you think of, all right, what 
what uh what songs can you skip and i didn't i didn't skip any of them yeah there were three yeah but you're you're biased there were three See, songs. i'm not a it's not a whole album no but no, I'm, so... I'm saying it's not a i wouldn't i wouldn't classify it as a even eligible for a classic album i'm just saying when i and because it's only three songs but like if you have you know the criteria or whatever like you're judging a classic album like what how many songs are you skipping and that you know um none i none. mean i mean that's that's me because i listen to albums, albums like that yeah, yeah, yeah but i'm saying if but we're talking a classic album i'm not skipping anything that's how i would that's probably how i would put the criteria of it being a I, classic album i would say there's a there's only a few like there's minimal songs that you're that you're skipping like, like there's certain songs on like just certain classic albums that you're just skipping oh, maybe man. one or two i mean but it but that's a really good that's a really good uh, well like what do you so what what do you consider classic I'm albums? Not, i'm not listening to like on um i don't know uh like on the blueprint jay-z uh, I know you're not going to say an interlude. Is that a plane in the background? Yeah. He... <laughs> well, uh, like there's certain uh, on the blueprint. I'm skipping probably like one song, one or two songs. Really? That's, that's... You skip, you're skipping songs? Yeah, like, I don't know. I I mean, it also might, might just be I me. Might, I might skip like "Song Cry" because I just might not be in the mood. To yeah. Hear. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Hear if that. you're not in the mood for something like that, yeah, I get, I get that. But but what I'm saying is, it, it's a good ratio. If you're if you're listening to more songs than not, it's like okay, it's a classic album. Like "Good Kid, Mad City," I'm listening to most songs. It's not saying. I'm, like, but if I on that, I'm not song, skipping anything. That's what I'm saying. Like, like, put that album, like Good Kid, Bad City, uh, up again. I don't. I mean, I haven't listened to a whole Drake album, but I mean, you know, take what, pick whatever one you want. You know, whatever Drake album you want, put it up against Good Kid, Bad City. Like, you think you're skipping more Drake songs than you are Kendrick? I would assume so. I'm gonna skip on okay. F all right, I'm gonna address okay on Good Kid, Mad City. I'm gonna skip the, the one with where the real one. Okay, like, I mean I'm real. It's yeah. like damn, how real <laughs> are you? <laughs> like fifty times. <laughs> uh. So I just I don't like super repetitive stuff. So that, but um, but okay. So I was just using that as an analogy. I don't think Drake's ever had a classic album. His closest one would probably take care or something like so that. So how can you be... I mean, do you consider him like one of the greatest of all time? Mm, I wouldn't... <clears throat> greatest? Greatest? Damn, that's a loaded question. Okay, first of all, you're, 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 you're saying... You're saying his past work and the fact that you don't like him as an artist that you're judging these three you're fusing these arguments together you're uh, judging these three songs off that and you're telling me no to like no no so so i can tell you that when i listened to those three songs i went into it thinking all right i'm gonna listen to these songs and i'm i'm fully prepared to tell drew all right my bad like all right he's not trash I, I I went into it with that mindset. So none all song, all three songs are bad. No trash. No, not okay. trash. Not trash. But okay. I will yeah. say, <clears throat> the features were more. They were better than him. They were more interesting. That like, I enjoyed them much more than I enjoyed him. I mean, not not just like me their too. lyrics, me but too. also their voice. Like okay, me everything too. about them. Me too. And so if they're on his song 
and they like and whoever's on his song outperforms him on his song then like how is this dude so it's not a good song if someone outperforms you on your own song but i'm saying if if people are putting drake at that level where he's like the close to the top of the mountain and every song that he or mo, a lot of songs that he has with features another argument into it though what do you mean you're using you're using you're throwing a whole nother thing if drake's trash or not into did you like these songs Yeah. <laughs> and you're, yeah, see, I that's am. That's what I'm saying. You're biased. You can't even listen objectively. But I did. I, tr I tried. I tried. I really I did. you tried. I commend you for trying, but you <laughs> didn't. You didn't. It's, it just got in the way. But you went on a whole rant about it, and you just, you just, you couldn't, you couldn't hold back on that. <clears throat> Look, I'm I, not a, I'm not a, Dra I'm not a big Drake fan. I think he's. I just think he does make some good music and he uh and he is corny sometimes and that's all. I'm not super passionate about like he <laughs> sucks. I hate him. I'm gonna I'm gonna bash him on social media. Like, no, I'm not I just alright, cool. Yeah, he made three three good songs. Uh I don't think like he makes catchy music. Here's the here's the real thing. I don't think you like. I don't think you're an anthems type of music listener. Oh, okay. Like what? Like, what anthems does anthem he anthem. have? Like, what are what are his? What started from the bottom? Uh, you know, like those types of like an, like anthem like you could play it in the club and it's like an anthem for a specific thing trophies uh there's a bunch of them what that is see you don't even know what the song is. nah yeah you're right you're right you're right you're right i mean i'm right too but you're right yeah. you're you're right too yeah <laughs> I just are I, you a hate are you just a Drake hater? Um no. I, you just, you're I don't not, I don't hate. You're not I don't hate. I I have I you're have repellent. Um I just don't think I don't think he um I don't think he's better than a lot of the people that are out and he gets mm. that title and that um you know those accolades and all that stuff and i don't think he deserves it over a lot of people who are out like i mean at the the same day pack and bruno mars dropped that song which is like uh -huh. i mean I, I just can't like great song i mean they're they're different kinds obviously they're different dif different types yeah. of music but yeah. i just the i hear like progression with Bruno Mars and and Anderson Pack and like the collaboration and then they make this new kind of thing and I just like Drake just has always just been the same yeah but why are you comparing them they're totally different artists that's like saying all right I'm gonna compare Bob Marley to to Jay Z they're well isn't two is, different things I I mean well Pack would be Pack Pack is a rapper they're very similar him he's, him he's a music he's more on the musician end. Like he's yeah, but drumming. he's a musician because he knows how to play an instrument. Like, yeah, he's doing. That's what I'm saying. He's he's not. So what? So you're like, saying what, Drake what isn't a musician saying, though? No, he's he's a he's like a rapper slash, like singy songy type dude. Yeah, he's not. He doesn't play a. He doesn't play. You don't. You don't compare them. Like they don't. Like they're not in the same lane. I don't know. I don't. I don't know. If, I I feel like they're in the same. Lane, maybe not in the same category. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, right. I'm. D uh, <laughs> look, I just, I, look, look. Just found another way to say what I said. I just, <laughs> yeah, you're right. You're uh, right. I don't right. think I don't think uh, Anderson Pat is gaining or losing any fans from, like. <clears throat> from like drake yeah 
that they're competing for yeah fans like if they were to drop on the same day is what i'm saying which they did like i think uh, like, right, that's what i'm saying that's what i'm saying i think if j cole and drake dropped on the same day i think that's where it's like competing who do you think wins that competition drake's a bigger artist pause I'm more of a fan of J. Cole, but Drake's a bigger uh, pop since pop star. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I, if, if that's what he's a pop star, I guess, if that's what his title is. I mean, yeah, once you reach reach into pop status, that's what you become. Like Jay Z at one point, pop star. Pop star? Jay Z? Mm hmm. Like once you reach into like once you reach into a certain like crossover yeah. success. Yeah. Then you become that big. Mm. Uh. Do you think uh you not, think... not that they're making pop music is no is where you is what uh, um I'm saying. Do you think Drake is gonna marry Kim Kardashian? <laughs> 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 Mary? If that's what you want to call it. <laughs> uh, just hope Kanye is okay. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. I guess he's been living out in Wyoming or wherever. Yeah. In a, like hut or something. <sighs> yeah. That's got to be. That's got to be a real Jeez. special place. Because <laughs> you imagine it's probably him and... You know, I don't know what, six, seven security guards or some at all times. Yeah. And does him like on that. his ranch doing whatever what he might do. do. You think, what rappers do you think are, are still doing a security guard? Like the, the six or seven security guard thing besides uh, like Takashi 6 <laughs> <laughs> Um, I don't know. Is that not a like, thing I anymore? Think, I don't think so. Like. I think it's turned down a little bit. Like, I don't see 50 Cent with a bunch of security. Yeah, but Kanye is different. Kanye is talking Pop about, star. he talked about running for president. Pop star. Pop star. Yeah. I mean, Drake uh, Drake probably has a bunch of people around him. Yeah, it's true. I mean, Pop Jay-Z star. probably, right? Yeah, Pop star. Pop star. I think, uh, yeah, I, the people who have crossed over into that, worldwide yeah maybe um, not six or seven i would probably calm that down who? i said who? maybe not six or seven you should probably calm that down yeah, probably, maybe um, like one or two, two three yeah, possibly three, but three. yeah yeah well well jay-z and beyonce seem to travel everywhere together or not everywhere but you see them a lot together yeah so they have so double two for the price of one or do they hire an extra I don't know. Uh, I don't do know. they have a fake Jay Z? Like a like a a, a body double? <laughs> See, that's what I would do. It's I possible. Would do the decoy. <laughs> you gotta do the decoy. It's possible. Right, I'm gonna go to the restroom and just bump into someone and then like wrestle for a little bit and then he goes and then you just <laughs> <laughs> and then you go where? You just sit in the stands. <laughs> With a mustache and a hat and a trench coat. Ah, <laughs> uh, that old classic disguise, huh? That one, yeah. That Superman or a... Yeah. yeah. That DC yeah. level disguise. Yeah, you get to watch the game in peace. Well, that guy has to go pee and stay sitting in the restroom. Yeah, the well, somebody like sits next thing, to... Like, get out! Somebody sitting next to Jay-Z with... Glasses and a mustache and a hat. <laughs> yeah, see, that would be the, that would be the um <clears throat> the cheaper way to go. Yeah, other to mm. alternative to bodyguards. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sure the presidents have stunt doubles. Yeah, they might. I don't know where you could you imagine like getting called out on it though. Or like seeing that happen, 
you know like if if yeah, you just deny you just deny the whole time i mean yeah but if you're obviously not them you can't what are you gonna do <laughs> Oh, you know, yeah, like, yeah. like if, if it's like, if it's a bad hey, double the president and then he's like, Hey, whoa, whoa, Mr. President. And he's just like super mean. <laughs> it's not political at all. <laughs> Some random guy that looks like him. Yeah. Yeah. Have that you ever seen, uh, have you ever seen somebody who looks like you before? No. Uh, yeah. Well, no, I've had people like say, Oh, that. It looks like you or whatever. Darren Williams. Darren. <laughs> when I had the when I had the beard, yeah, whatever. Um, <clears throat> I had the same thing, the same cut or whatever. You know, I found out that people in Utah were actually getting their cut, and they were saying, "Let me get the Darren Williams." Wow. That's crazy. Darren Williams was. He was crazy at at one point. Yeah. He was. Big time. It was him and Chris Ball. What do you mean him and Chris Ball? Like the two best point guards. Oh yeah. Yeah. For when like Chris Ball is on the Clippers or New, New Orleans? No, nah, New Orleans. Yeah. 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 He would just cross you. He would just cross you like multiple times. Yeah. And just try to get you off balance and, enough. Yeah. To get you to get room. Yeah. Yeah, I used to I used to love watching him play. Cause he'll cross you so bad. Have you seen Mike Bibby? What he looks like recently? Yeah, he's like a bodybuilder now. He's huh? crazy. <laughs> yeah, he looks crazy. Yeah. He doesn't look real. Yeah, I've seen him. Also, I mean, I'm not. He he looks pretty top heavy. Like leg day might have. Oh really? I didn't really might have evaded him, but that. yeah, we'll you can check it out. I didn't see all that, but I definitely saw he was in the what's that thing? Big three. What victory was that? The big three. Oh, uh, what him? I think he was... Weber, right? And uh... no, I'm saying the big three. You don't know what the big three is? Oh, the league. Yeah. No, that's Jason Williams. I think he played too. No, I don't think Bibby played. Or he, Jason he Jason was Williams was the, he, no Jason Williams was the, he was like a big star kind of coming in and he got hurt. He like tore his ACL or some shit. I want to say Mike Bibby was in it too. Oh, he might have been, wrong. but he def he does not look like he's been playing basketball. Yeah, just looks like he's been yeah. bench pressing. That's it. Yeah. And and buying sneakers. You know he has a crazy sneaker collection. Like what's crazy? Like, well he he was Team Jordan when he was playing, and he's probably never stopped getting Jordan <laughs> delivered. Uh. So yeah, I, I think he. I don't really. I'm not really into the sneaker culture thing, but he's one of the kind of goats. At the at the just collection and rare rare sneakers um are you gonna watch the all-star game this weekend yeah of course is there gonna be a game yeah okay because they were talking they they didn't want to do it right yeah some players didn't i'm pretty sure lebron said he didn't want to do it yeah a couple players have said that they or like I don't really care, or I don't want to, or whatever. <clears throat> but and the NBA was yeah. like, "Fuck that, you're playing." <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> Pretty much. I think um, they were, I, they, or yeah. So uh, Jordan, he was telling me that they were gonna play. They were gonna do it in Indianapolis, um, and then really, yeah. But I think they're like they're closed over there. You know, it's not like opened up. So they moved it to Atlanta because Atlanta's just been wide open. So. So the NBA is like, let's go to a city that's wide open, and you're playing. Okay. Yeah, but they're not going to be inter intertwined in. I mean, they're just going to be in their. Lo it's basically going to be a bubble, is what I've been hearing. Yeah, yeah. Well, they're going to have uh, students <laughs> watching the game, I guess. 
Oh, okay. Students from uh, HBCUs. Oh yeah, I did see that. Um, so they'll have them like so they'll have an audience, um, but still, I'm sure they're not going to be. It's not going to be like last year. You know, like last year was was crazy. It's definitely not going to yeah. be that. Yeah, the energy is going to be different for sure. Yeah. But I know they're doing a dunk contest, and I'm not sure if they're doing a three point contest. Yeah, they're doing the three point contest. They are. They got some. They got some big name players, yeah. like Curry, Devin Booker. Okay. Yeah, they got all like all the top guys, pretty much. Okay. Yeah, yeah that'll be fun to watch. Unless yeah, they they're, they're just like skills. <laughs> they're not into it. I know. Uh, <laughs> yeah, now they're doing the skills challenge. They're doing. The dunk contest, the three point. Um. So yeah, it should be interesting. They're they're probably not doing that rising stars one though. Yeah, like the the rookies or whatever yeah. versus or USA versus World. I don't even know. Yeah, I guess that's how they do it now. That. Yeah. No, I don't. I don't think they're doing that this year. They're not. They're probably. There's probably a lot of things that they're. The the celebrity game. They used to have the celebrity yeah. game. Yeah. Um. What else did they have? I feel like there was some some other things, but I don't know. They tried yeah, a whole bunch of weird shit over the years. They tried some different stuff. Didn't work. They had Kevin Hart be the star for like five years. <laughs> hey, he, he. He took over like there was like at least a good two or three years where he was like oh he was he, he would release a movie and be the star of the all-star weekend yeah at, all at the same time yeah yeah there were those you know who i want to see in the game i want to see stephen a smith what do you mean in the game in, in the uh in the celebrities game playing yeah i want to see that. Has That's he played movies. before? Because I know he coached. He played. He played. Uh, yeah, he played. Oh, what? What? He how? How like was he? Some. Oh, I don't know. I never saw. No, no, no but so I know he played in college, but did but yeah. he did he play in the celebrity all star game? Because oh, I know, no, I know no, he no. coached in one. Right. No, I don't think he ever played in one. Oh. But I I would like to see him play in one. I he wouldn't do it. You don't think so? No. <laughs> because of. Because everybody would talk shit at him. Yeah, yeah. Like, I mean, it's already like, he, I mean, he, there's no film of him. You know, it's like nobody knows. <laughs> yeah. Nobody knows what he looks like when he shoots or when he plays. I don't think. I don't, maybe I've yeah. seen him shoot before. I've seen him shoot. He has like kind of like a quick release, but he just missed a lot from the footage I saw him. What do you uh, What do you think about him? What's your, do you listen to him? Uh, I catch I catch first take every once in a while. Yeah. Uh, do I listen to him? Yeah, on first take. Um, he's. It's just entertainment. If you yeah. if you realize that it's just entertainment, like, it's it's cool to watch. Yeah, he like reminds not, me of, uh, like him and Lavar Ball have that. Their little relationship. I think they kind of have a similar. Just being loud. The way that they they both use that technique, yeah. you know. Yeah, no, they they they're really talented at what they do. Like Max, uh, and Stephen A. Smith, because to do that for every day, yeah, like, and just know all these sports. And I mean, they're tuned in twenty four hours a day, right? You know, yeah. getting updates and all that stuff. You know, like they have the latest whatever. Um, yeah, it's it's. It's a lot. Yeah. Like, I like sports, but damn. <laughs> it's crazy, crazy how, like, people, you know, rise to the top of that. You know, like, people, it's, I'm sure it's competitive. You know, like, you have to compete against other personalities to get those spots. You have to stay interesting to keep the spots, you know? Yeah. Yeah, it's... Uh... Yeah, it's crazy. So, it's so crazy yeah, to, so be to, loud. To just live your life for for uh, watching sports, pretty much. Yeah, watching sports. Yeah, and yeah, just your opinion 
on yeah that's why credibility comes into it because we're just listening to their opinion really you know like, yeah and so it's then it comes down to like well, well what did you do you know all the players have their their mm. record you know like see i don't i don't subscribe to that no you don't you don't think so what did you do not no but not unless they're saying he should have done well they do say that that's what i'm team. saying like they do that i mean not on they, a that's that's basis. part of they're, that's part of being nah, a, not on a consistent basis. they don't they don't necessarily uh i don't know i, I they have to I, critique not, players yeah performance their behavior like their decision yeah. making you know like they have to critique that stuff that's their job yeah but they're not they're okay so i'll show you the difference they're not doing like stephen a smith and max kellerman aren't doing the break the critique like a chris weber or a reggie miller are doing on or even or even a kenny smith they're like getting down to like almost analyzing the game and saying no he should have he should have he should have one dribble pulled up instead of two dribble because his defender was was sagging off towards the basket so he could have he could if he would have just went through the legs and did one dribble pull up it would have been an easier shot like they're not doing like Stephen A. Smith and um, Max and like Max and Skip and all them. They're not doing that. Like they're the like, technical oh, really analysis. Bad. Yeah, they're more so like general, um, digestible. Uh, or they look at stats more. Yeah, they're more stats and he played bad. He played good. He stunk. <laughs> he needs yeah. to do better. So I'm not. I'm not gonna. But you don't, so oh. you don't think that somebody who has been in that situation, like an, a, an athlete, like a retired athlete who's uh-huh. been in that situation has more or like, or a, maybe a more valuable insight at what it's like in that situation. Yeah, and they do, and they do have those guys on, even yeah. on those that, and on those particular shows, they have like, who they have like Kendrick Perkins, they have um Yeah, but even Ryan Kendrick Alves. person and Kendrick Perkins says wild stuff too. But yeah, yeah. you know, and that's the other thing is that like you see then you see, you know, like Shaq, the whole thing with Shaq and him talking about players. What's up with Shaq? Ah, Let's get into Shaq. What's up with that dude? I mean he's he it's, sensitive. Is Shaq sensitive? Yeah, because he Okay. No, but Shaq's is, the one who's saying the stuff, and then everybody else is. But Shaq, anytime someone questions his opinion, he's like, "Well, I got six rings, oh. or whatever, five rings. How many rings does he have?" I don't know. Five. Yeah, I know he doesn't four. have more than Kobe. He's got four, right? He has three he has with the Lakers. With Miami. Uh, yeah, one, one with, Miami. with Miami. Yeah, so one with Wade. Four. Yeah. And the Eastern Conference Finals with Orlando. <laughs> yeah, but he, but he, anytime someone critiques him or goes against him, he's like, "I got four rings," which is true. But I don't know. I just feel like he. He also says he was the most dominant like player game. ever. Uh huh. Which he's in the conversation. Yeah. I was yeah. just watching Will, that video. <laughs> I just saw that video of him today where he uh, dunks on that dude from the Knicks. You know what I'm talking about? Like he gets it in the post. Oh, and then he Chris just takes it. Yeah, Chris. And he pushes him. <laughs> and, he, he and then he disrespects him ball. so bad. The most disrespectful <laughs> dunk of all time. Not Scotty Pippen on Patrick Ewing does not come close to that. <laughs> The point by what's his name, uh, uh, Sean Kemp, where he dunks on him and points at him. <laughs> yeah, that, even that. That does not come close. Man, because he gets the ball. For anyone who hasn't seen it, he gets the ball, dunks on Chris Dudley, who's playing for the Knicks. He, 
it was just a, in the post, right? He just yeah. just passed it to him in the post. Yeah, he just catches and it he in the post. And he just spun slowly and just rolls up and dunks him. <laughs> but Chris Dudley had his hand. He's standing while Shaq's dunking, so he has his hands on his like. Was it his? Like, He's like hugging his, his like his and, nose is in his belly button. <laughs> and as he's coming down, the slightest, most gentle, disrespectful push of all time. He just pushes him down like, and he puts his hands in the air like, "I didn't even push you." Oh, I didn't even know you were there. I just placed you on the floor. <laughs> And he falls. <laughs> it's so disrespectful. Oh. And he get the ball. What happens? The, the he picks up oh, the he ball. Throws the, yeah. He picks he, up the ball and he throws it. Like he, he yeah. throws it like a football, just <laughs> rifles Jack's it at Shaq. Shark Shaq's ran down the court already, <laughs> and he's probably at half court. He's at half court already. And this guy's all mad. And then Shaq turns around like he barely, he didn't even notice, really. <laughs> this guy's so mad. And oh. You can literally see him mouthing, fuck you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's just, man, if you Ooh. get dumped on, you can't react like that. You just look even more trash. But it, it wasn't just getting dunked on. If he just got dunked on, you know, whatever, it happens. But <laughs> but the, the push, the little... The little push and the yeah. fall and just the way that he just looked. But okay, but you don't throw the ball. You go Of course down not. No, of course not. You go yeah. You, you go down there down and what and... though? You go <laughs> what? No, you gotta push him or something. You can't throw <laughs> okay. the ball. It probably didn't even land. Did he even it land? I, I, don't, I, don't know. I don't know. I don't know if it even bad. got close. There and then and then shortly after they traded him. Chris Dudley? <laughs> oh, is she? <laughs> ah, you you got to go. I'm sorry. You... Yeah. Here's Shaq. <laughs> Against Dudley. Nice move. Shaquille O'Neal was so powerful on that move that Dudley... Dudley just not even fouling. He just got overpowered by Shaquille O'Neal. But Dudley is now joined with Shaq and threw the ball in his direction. Man, if you want to pick somebody... Did you see to go with... that I made a purchase this week? No. Did I see that you made a purchase? Well, I put it on the note. I bought a something. Oh. Okay. All right. I bought a longboard. Okay. <clears throat> like wait okay so is that the one that you that you skate on or you ride on the sea i mean on the water <laughs> What's... on the sea <laughs> i don't know i said sea is that the one that you ride on the ocean or on like are you skating like no, you're, you're skating. in college skating okay <laughs> like you're in college yeah 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 i like that yeah, so um, I wanted to get something so I could kind of just cruise around the neighborhood, you know, like it's going to be summer soon, kind of just, mm. you know, just cruise around. I'm, I live yeah. near the beach, you know, so kind of yeah, just yeah. do that thing. Um, so I thought it'd be cool to get a longboard. I've never skated before in my life. Like right. I've stood, I've, I've stood on a skateboard, but uh, not... I don't think I moved more than five feet on one. So I have zero experience. So, okay. so are you going to, are you going to ride it on your belly? Or... <laughs> <laughs> what are you, you're just going to learn. How to do... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm going to, I got you riding down the sidewalk. Someone was like, mommy, look at that guy. Yeah, he doesn't know that it's actually... <laughs> Hold my hand, son. <laughs> uh, yeah. No, I'm, I'm going to learn how to do it. Um, okay. And then, you know... Are you going to get... ollie? Can you no, ollie? No, I'm not, no, I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that. Um, I'm not doing any tricks, no. Okay. I just want to... 
I just want to move without fast. Yeah, no, no I don't even want to go fast. Mm -hmm. I just want to just cruise. Just, That's all. Just kick it. That's all. Uh -huh. Stand without walking. Stand without walking. Move. Exactly. Like I, I do. I go for my runs and all that stuff. But I would like to stand and move without walking. So. I got you. Um, so I, I answered a, like I got it on Facebook Marketplace. I answered an ad on there, and I met up with the dude, and he had like some some storage unit. Like he called it a shop, but it was it was mostly just like a big room. Um, but he had a bunch of boards in there and then he showed it to me. Um, oh, I went there to go look at one and then he showed me a couple and then I, I, I fell in love with this one. This one spoke to me. Um, so he, he skated around on it. I stepped on it. So like, he was like, Oh, what kind of boards you usually like? I was like, Oh, I never done it before. I never skated before. He was like, Oh, uh, like, um, you know, what, well, what kind have you ridden before? You know, like when I said I haven't skated before, he thought I meant like a lot, but you've definitely skated before at some point, which that's not the case. I've never skated. Like, so I've never even moved, you know? Um, so I stepped on the thing and then I took one step and he was like, Oh, you've never stepped on one. He could just tell by the way I stepped on yeah. it. Yeah, and then he was a lot facing, more because you were facing forward <laughs> and not to the side. No, I stepped on it. Like, like you're supposed to step on it with your front foot, not your back foot. So I stepped on it with my back foot, and then I looked like an idiot. Hmm. But so of course he skated around and showed it to me and made it look cool. Um, yeah, and then uh, and then <laughs> and then he was um, he was giving me the price on the one that. He was showing me and he was like, he said it was 75 bucks and he was like staring at it and he was like, I, I can't go any lower than 75, man. I, I, I don't know if I can go any lower than that, but he was like really, really looking at it. Now he was really struggling with trying to make a deal for me. And so I, I just gave him 80 bucks. I was like, oh, 80 bucks is fine. man. like, like. Wait, what? He said 75, but you gave him 80? Yeah, he was... He, What's wrong beca with you? Because, because he, he looked like he needed the five bucks. You know what I mean? Like, oh, who cares? What do you mean? <laughs> That's when you say, I got 70 for you. Cash money. <laughs> you know how they say? Yeah, cash rules everything around me. <laughs> yeah, cream. So... <laughs> That's when you say I got 70 and then you start to walk away. <laughs> Dang. That's crazy. Or Look, you maybe man, it's, like, it's, I need this $5 for gas. Like It's coronavirus like time. It's poor. pandemic. You know, people yeah, are hurting. $70 in his pocket for a, a, a board with four wheels on it. <clears throat> and he's got more. Well, yeah, I know. But when he was like ringing me up in the shop, he was he was like, he was asking me if I want to buy everything, basically. Like, he was like, "You need some, uh, you need some some weed whackers. You need, <laughs> you need some yeah, socks. I got shot. some socks here. <laughs> you need, you need some toys. I have toys here. <laughs> like, I'll sell you that shit. So, so I could tell he he needed to sell some stuff, you know. So yeah. So you know, I just trying to trying to do my my part good samaritan yeah uh and then and then he put different wheels on it without i didn't ask him to he was like no these ones are gonna be way better and then he took he took a while uh a, this guy showed up and he had two kids with him and so he walked up and he asked like oh are you busy so the guy asked him to wait while he was doing that so then after he puts on the new wheels then i'm walking out and he puts the board on the ground and he's like try it out and these two, like, seven- and ten-year-old kids are watching me. <laughs> and I'm like, what do you want me to do with it, man? <laughs> I don't know how to write it. He, uh, he instantly had a crowd. And, he had a... Wow. and then I stepped on it, and I moved. And I didn't go. And I, I sucked, obviously. And then I am I feel like I heard one of the kids boo at me or something. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
No, it'd be funnier if he started crying. <laughs> he just felt so bad that he started crying. Man. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it was a weird moment. Oh, and then I brought the board home, um, and I had it in the backyard, which the backyard is like a bunch of uneven bricks, not a good skating surface, and I was going around in circles, and then I lost my balance, and I launched it into the back window. <laughs> <laughs> Dang. It's like a movie. <laughs> And you just fall on the on your on your head, like ah, oh, <laughs> birds. Dang! <laughs> Did it break the window? No, I didn't. But the dogs got really scared, and Lisa got really mad, and then I had to put the board underneath the couch. And you can never use it again. <laughs> Dang! <laughs> hey, good for you getting off skatey and whatnot i just i i just wanted some some wheels you know i wanted to yeah. experience i wanted to live that beach bum life mm -hmm. at, yeah. before before i get out of here you know i got i don't plan on staying here forever i mean I, i'm gonna have mm -hmm. to move at some point so while i'm here i thought i could could live that life you know yeah but we'll uh, see I, I we'll see it. because it, it has not started out very well you, you'll get another chance at it. Yeah, that's what I'm afraid of. <laughs> Have Are you paying attention at all to UFC? Um, I, I definitely follow the stories. So, like, not all the stories, but... Yeah, I don't you know, follow like I know, either. I know, I like Izzy as a character. Mm -hmm. Is Izzy Adesanya. Yeah. Um, and uh, I saw the girl, what's her name? Amanda Nunez. Yeah, I saw that she. What she recently win? Um, did she win two belts? Was that what it was? Yeah, no, that was Clarissa Shields. Cla well, I don't know. Well, Clarissa Shields a box a women's box, but she won in two. I think she either unified in two different weight classes. Oh. She was like the first person ever, but I know uh, that other Nunez girl. She's like Amanda Nunez you know, is the top of the female fighters. Right. And she's yeah, fighting yeah. tonight. So she's fighting tonight. Oh, okay. Yeah, uh, Izzy's Which fighting is tonight. Saturday. This this is come this will be yeah. out on Tuesday. She, she had already fought. Yeah. So, you know, we'll find out. I guess we'll find out soon. But uh how, do you, so do you know what the Izzy fight what's happening with that right now? I do know that he he weighed in a lot less than the other dude. Yeah. So he's so, coming up a weight class. <clears throat> okay. Um and so he has the belt in his. So I guess he was maybe. So I guess he was middleweight before, and then now he's going up into light heavyweight. Okay. And so he has the middleweight belt, and then now he's coming up to try to win the uh, light heavyweight belt. Okay. Yeah. Nah. I, um, <clears throat> I don't know the whole in, intricacies of it, but um, but I know that he he weighed a lot less than. To do other dudes. Yeah, so so, so he weighed in at like two hundred, I think, maybe two oh five. Um and then the other guy um the other guy probably is coming in at two twenty is what right is yeah, what we were kind of thinking. Thought. So but they're about the same height. Like they're they're so as far as reach goes, I, I don't know if it's a big disadvantage for anybody. It might just yeah. be weight, you know. Yeah, sometimes it's like the natural fighter or the natural, the guy who's really skilled and talented, um, like naturally, they can kind of get away with, with, you know, if they're, if they're really good, like a Deontay Wilder, he was always, always like notorious for being like 10, 10 to 12 pounds, uh, less than whatever heavyweight he was fighting oh really he was only like yeah he was only like two like 210 or something like that but did he always he fight some... at heavyweight yeah he's always been a heavyweight so um you know but because there's no limit or whatever yeah. heavyweight so they he's fighting dudes that are 250 and, yeah you know what i mean God, 250. Um, yeah that heavyweight division is ridiculous <laughs> sometimes 250 
Jeez. Yeah. Yeah. So I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what happens. But um. Yeah, I don't. I don't. Other than that, like I don't really know the whole landscape of the UFC. Yeah. Like, I mean, I'm not. I'm not <clears throat> up on it that much either. I am. I do kind of follow it, but uh, I'm just in, interested in the in Adesanya, you know, and the whole moving up a weight class thing. You know, it's just yeah. it's so hard to do in boxing or MMA. You know, and I don't know. Yeah. Like Connor tried it, and he he beat Nate Diaz, but he also lost. You know, he lost the first one. Um, I don't know who else. I, like, can you think of people in boxing who have done it su- successfully? moved up in weight and, yeah. and there's been a lot there's been a, a whole lot, lot. Yeah. uh it's it's like if you think of manny pacquiao i think he was uh, what 126 maybe 122 and then he won a title at 147 maybe yeah. so he's it's probably kind of like over the, time right like they'll yeah it's over time yeah. so it, it it's more than you think like that happened just because people enter the fight you know the professional ranks at like late teens early 20s and they leave if they're good enough they leave you know mid 30s early 30s so that's your body fills out whatever so it's always natural that people move up um it's rare that people don't like floyd's he probably walks around at like 155 160 and he fights at what one one forty five seven. So it's one forty seven. It's not far off from what, but you know, other people are different. Yeah, I wonder if it's it's. And I I don't know how different it is for UFC than, uh, boxing. You know. Well, they their weight classes. I I'm pretty sure are different. Um, I think they're a little bit off, like as far as the weight, like a middleweight to in ufc or mma and boxing i i'm pretty sure that's what i that they're different that's what i've seen yeah like it's just like a couple pounds off or something like that yeah um but uh yeah now that there's there's a bunch of people mikey garcia he he, he's moved up a couple he started at 126 he was a champ at 126 damn 126 how Um, tall are these how tall are these people i think well Usually that's like shorter, like five, six, five, seven. Yeah. Um, what are all the weight getting... classes? Because there's, so there's, mm-hmm. what's bantam weight? Like, where's that one at? It, I think it starts off like 108 or something like that. <sighs> yeah, it starts off really, what is really it jockeys? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Those are the, the uh, yeah, there's, there's, you know, it, it's, the more the more historic weight classes are like heavyweight, obviously, as like Tyson. Yeah. Uh, you got middleweight. You got junior junior welterweight. That's like one forty seven. That's like a like seems to be like a lot of champions greats. Is right junior now, welterweight the, the one, same as welterweight? No. So that's those are two different. Oh. So here's the here's the here's the big class right now is one thirty five. Uh, one thirty five. That's uh, Devin Haney, um, Ryan Garcia, um, Gervonta Tank Davis. Um, there's one other. Uh, Teofimo Lopez. So look, that's like, they're, um, you know, everyone's saying that those are the, those are like some of the top young fighters or that, that's you know, that might be boxing's most popular weight class right now right now yeah just yeah. because you got yeah you got like the middleweight guys are kind of not not retiring but you know like you're they're getting older kind of right yeah um and then you have he- heavyweights always there that you because you got joshua you got tyson fury but um but yeah, uh, Canelo, like he's, to me right now, he's pound for pound king. What weight class is Canelo? Well, he he's fought at 147 all the way to one, I believe, I think 168. No, 175. He, I think he fought, he fought at 175. 175 is what, like light heavyweight or no, middleweight um, maybe? 
Yeah. <laughs> uh, middleweight is one sixty eight. Um. Um. He's right now. He's at one. He's he's one sixty eight. But he the the um. I want to think. Let me see. He he fought uh. Either the last one. I think it was the last fight. The, before this 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 previous one he fought at i believe 175 jeez um going up from 147 yeah he fought well he fought floyd mayweather at 54 154 so that was how long ago how many that years was a while ago that? that was it was like seven eight years ago probably seven eight years ago yeah 2014 maybe 13 14 yeah um and then he went to 175, which is uh, light heavyweight. And that was, I think, two fights ago. But um, he, he, the crazy thing about Canelo is he, he speaks English. Don't let him fool you. I don't, I don't even know if I've heard him speak. Maybe on a he commercial. just heard him in Spanish. Well, no, but in Spanish. But yeah, I don't know if I've ever heard him speak English. Cause he doesn't. I think I've seen him mean, say like one word he, in a commercial. He, that do you see that Sylvester Stallone one? What a commercial? The commercial. Uh, and there Canelo was, was in it. Yeah, it was. I feel like, like a, it was a Super was like, Bowl or something. It was something like that. I forgot what it was, but it was Sylvester Stallone, and he's like, "Hey, Canelo." <laughs> yeah, yeah. And he's like, "Qué pasó?" <laughs> he's like, "What's up?" <laughs> <laughs> he's like what's up Canelo <laughs> yeah I'm just beer he's like I'm okay <laughs> okay mijo <laughs> it's like what yeah I remember, I remember that <laughs> I, yeah. yep that's what it was I remember it that it was just the weirdest commercial yeah it's a weird pair it's a weird combo he's like barbecuing and he threw him a beer like, <laughs> okay I can't wait <laughs> The odd couple, the weirdest dynamic duo ever. Yeah. <laughs> Canelo and Sylvester Stallone. Yeah. Uh, speaking of Canelo, did you see the post fight? Well, he he won last fight easily. Um, won by knockout, uh, right? Yeah, I think the guy quit on a quit. Yeah. He, he quit knocked no, he knocked he knocked him down like twice he, fast. Like he knocked yeah, him down was, once, I think, and the guy got back, got back up, and he knocked him right back down, and then they called it. Yeah, off. he got lucky because people get badly hurt. Yeah, you know, with with some of his shots, but he he, yeah, he I think he quit on the stool. Um, but uh, the post fight, he uh. He's interviewing. He's, he's he's getting interviewed, and there's the translator there. And then uh, he turns to the side, and he sees these two dudes. I think they were wearing a Jake Paul or Logan Paul or or wh whatever one. Or yeah. maybe there were there was two of them. They were wearing one of each. Shirts. Yeah, I, it could have been. Um, I couldn't really see the, but I just I just heard that it, or I read or something that that it was them. They had their sh they had their face on the these two dudes shirts, and uh, they were pro they were like grown men like they were they looked like they were in their <laughs> twenty plus, and um, he turns and he sees them like he du and then he has to double take he's like like because you know there's like an entourage or whatever you know you have your little team behind you after you win yeah and he's like looking like oh so it's on the walkout like it's on the. No, it's in the ring. It's the okay. Post still fight, in the ring. Post yeah. fight, yeah, right. Like the immediate post fight interview, and then he he like double takes. He's like, he's like, uh, he's like, hey, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> <laughs> and you could just hear him on live TV, and uh, and then uh, and then they just like immediately leave, and then he's like, fucker, <laughs> like under. <laughs> It's, it's something that makes me feel strong. I feel strong. I feel fast. I feel comfortable. It's something, I think it's one of my best moments in my, in my life. It's one of my best moments. Okay. So, so you know it's, he's at home speaking English. 
it's because he he like called out or he didn't call him out or he said something about that they're ruining boxing right is that what it was yeah yeah so no so that after i think this was after that he saw that the the jake paul dude he saw that and he's like oh why'd you have to like hate on these kids and they were like grown ass man <laughs> Oh, oh! So he like he was kind of trying to call he him out for that. He was responding to that Canelo. Thing. Oh wow! Yeah. So he's like. Oh, so then he was like, Canelo. "Fight me." No, he didn't say that. No, he's not dumb. Yes, he is. I don't think he's. A... No, he's not dumb. No, he's not dumb. He's not dumb. Let's not get it. Let's not get it. Let's not get crazy. He 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 knows. So. Well, but he knows what. He, he, but, well, he knows he'd get killed. Of course, but he's just trying to get a cash. He's trying no, to get a payout. He, no, what he said was, I think, he's like, why don't you fight David Benavides? Why don't you fight Caleb Plant, who are other champions? I think he said Charlo also, who are other champions. And it's like, he's fought every, he's fought, he's not ducking. Any, he's moving up in weight class. He's fighting everyone. Like, he's just... He was just trolling, basically. Right, right. Well, that's what, that's what he does, that's, right? That's his, that's his job description. Yeah. Uh, but it was just really funny because, um, he kind of danced around like. I don't know. It just seemed like he doesn't want any smoke with Canelo, really. Like it just. He just he'd kill him. He'd like. Yeah, it's a probably. different thing to do. Like what his brother is doing with uh fight Nate Robinson. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, R.I.P. Uh to do what his brother is doing with Mayweather, because you know, Mayweather, you're not like the power of Mayweather, you're not really afraid of that. Like Logan Paul's probably well, not he thinks. I know, I'm saying he Never thinks. Be. Yeah, yeah. He, he thinks. But yeah. Canelo, on the other hand, is like Yeah, he you know what you're a, getting with that. Yeah, you're you're definitely getting some different. Like Mayweather is more so like precision power at yeah. this point. Canelo, like you're getting brain damage. When he was young, when it was young Floyd, you're getting you're getting some brain damage too. Like if you're a yeah, if it's a Paul brother or whatever. But at this point, he's what forty five or yeah. forty four. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And he's probably not gonna care too much to train like if he's fighting a Pacquiao or something. You know what I mean? Yeah. So. Probably walk him down, dodge a little bit, and then just end it. Uh, Canelo, you're gonna get serious, badly hurt. Like your liver. Like, why do you think? One why do you think he said that to him? Why do you think they that they bother him so much? Who the brothers, like the Paul brothers? Why do you think they, they bother, bother Canelo so much? Because he like well, made no. that statement, you know. No, they, they, I think they, it was a reaction to, okay, so these two dudes were, prom, I think, promoting or, like, crashing the fight interview to, like, get promotion or something. Yeah, I understand, yeah, but, but. He said that, but now they're, they're just responding for clout or whatever, or he's responding for clout. But those two dudes were Paul. wearing the Paul brothers on their shirts, right? Yeah, it could have been anyone fighting. It was a big fight. It was a big event. So, but Canelo, you know. like, Canelo saw them. He saw the Paul brothers, and he got upset at that. Right? I, no, he was like, "You're trolling my post fight interview. I won this fight." Like, oh, yeah, okay. get out of here! Like, wouldn't you? Oh, okay. <laughs> like, have okay. you ever? Okay. Have you ever post fight? Or I mean, post fight, post game interview or something? Yeah, you had a post game interview. Yeah. On TV? Yeah, I had one. Well, what if someone had, like... <laughs> Somebody like busted into the interview? And like... Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah I, I I did have a post-game interview. How? I don't remember how it was. I, it, it was, was normal? It was on... You didn't say anything dumb? I didn't no. say anything <laughs> dumb, <laughs> yeah. I don't like the It was on local cable uh, access Second. network or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> whatever that channel the channel that's in between the channels was it adelphia 
Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Adelphia, that's what it is. Adelphia game of the week. Don't yeah. disrespect Adelphia. Channel 10 and a half. Adelphia. Jimlin's inner cable? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Remember those? Yeah. Yeah. Good programming. Obviously, if they're interviewing... Anyone, anyone who's listening, <laughs> remember. Yeah. Anybody anyone from the... the... Dude. The dudes, they're like, and he gets the ball, and he scores it. Oh, my God. <laughs> it was like amateur hour, but it was really good. <laughs> no disrespect. <laughs> no disrespect. It was really good. Uh, we need to uh, We need to find a witness that can, that can uh, speak on our our. My post game interview. I wish I had the tape. Oh yeah, and have. yes, I'm sure you could tape. call up Adelphia, whatever, whoever mm-hmm. their company is now. Yeah, can I'm you sure go back? Got out. Go back. Uh, what what sixteen told. years in your files, and yeah. find my post game interview. Yeah. The basement of cobwebs. Turn the light on. You might have to carry a lantern, but <laughs> I know it's in there. <laughs> It's unreal. Uh, <laughs> Call up your grandfather who used to work there. Uh, nah. <clears throat> only, only speak. Did you have to do like a speech? Did you win MVP? MVP of right uh, what? Like your senior year of the team? Yeah. Yeah. Did you have to do a? Did you do a speech? No, I don't think so. No. You just didn't let us do speeches. What do you mean speech? Why would you do speech? You're a high school kid winning MVP. Yeah, you're like thanks, like no, nah, I appreciate all you guys, and look out for better, bigger, and better things. And you didn't do a speech. I don't think so. Uh, I feel like I would remember doing a speech. I do want, you? I, uh, have you ever? Have you had to give a speech? I feel, I won MVP. Uh, I won MVP my in junior high, and in in like fifth grade or something like that. Fourth, or fifth grade, fifth grade for sure, because I have a story. Actually, I know we know someone who was there. I don't know if I did a speech. We're gonna ask him. Okay. Who are you? Um, you uh, are talking. Yeah, you know who I'm talking about, right? Yeah, we'll do it on the Patreon. Okay. Actually, this call him right now. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Right okay. We keep like dancing around saying his name. We can say his name. Hmm. <laughs> 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 yeah. Yeah, that's true. Well, you <laughs> danced and then I fucking followed. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm going to call him. <laughs> oh, shit. Is that a Wi-Fi calling on? Hello? Yo. Yo. Yo, it's me from the Life and Not Free podcast. Great. Louis, did you hear that? Sound effects. Did you hear that? Yeah, I love the introduction there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, you're live, so don't say anything to... Uh, put you away for five to ten. Oh shoot! Okay, I'm trying to remember that. Hey, hey. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, this is Louis. Um, real quick, Louis. Uh, I I I was talking to Greg right now about um. Uh, we were on the same uh team in fifth grade, right? I'm sorry, or sixth fifth grade or sixth? In sixth or fifth? Uh, it was it had to be sixth grade, I believe. Sixth grade. Okay. Yeah. Um, Actually, it was fifth grade because I went to. <laughs> I went to. I, did, I only. Thanks went to for your school. input, but actually, it was fifth grade. But yeah, go ahead. 
And I'm pretty confident I only in that went too, to, but okay. <laughs> nah, because I went to I went to your school, uh your elementary school only one year. Was it one year? I thought it was I thought it was fifth and sixth grade. You know what? You nah. know what? You're right. Nah, I moved on. I moved on. I got MVP mm. and I moved on. <laughs> oh, you did. <laughs> Wait, nah, so you guys we were, were you were on the same team or you went to the same school? Yeah, no, we were on the same team. That's when we became friends. But look, <clears throat> uh yeah. I, I was talking to Greg. We Greg was talking about his his uh little we were we were trying to remember if he had a speech after he won MVP in high school. And uh I remembered I had one MVP um not in high school, but um uh, in junior high and then uh at, at, at when we were in fifth grade together. And mm-hmm. I was just wondering if you remember, did I do a speech? <laughs> Man, I remember the ceremony and all, but uh, hmm, that's a good one. I don't remember if you gave a speech. I, I want to say no. Okay. okay I feel no, like no, we, I really we would care. remember. I don't really care. I don't really care about that. I really wanted to get your opinion on. Do you remember that someone else got a, their own like fake MVP trophy? Um. Yeah, okay. I thought that. See, I, I, was, I, was, I remember that. Yeah. Actually, actually, I don't want. I don't want you to say any names. Put anyone on blast. We'll talk about this on the Patreon. So we're gonna close. Yeah. Greg, let's close this one out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're gonna transfer this one over to the Patreon. Um. So if you want to check that out, check it out at livefromoxcity dot com. Um. Thanks for listening. Always like, subscribe, uh, click, watch all all. If anybody hasn't seen my video that I put up of uh, the trailer for our show between me and Drew, check that out. It's on YouTube right now.